I get the preamble. Right Are you recording? Yes. Are you zoomed in? Yeah. Good, because I look better from a distance. Can you <laughs> zoom in? And yeah. that's important. That is important. Um, but not everything looks better from a distance. For example, car dealerships. I did not know anything about car dealerships before I worked at one, except that they're scummy, evil, trying to rip you off. However, once I started at one, I learned that it was quite different. So in these videos, each one, I'm gonna talk about a different thing about car dealerships that I learned that surprised me. The first thing that I learned today is about pre-owned vehicles. Here's the myth. Pre-owned vehicles at car dealerships are higher miles and lower quality than what you can buy on KSL or on one of those you know, online apps like Craigslist or something. Okay, truth. I tried to sell a vehicle to somebody that they came for and it was marked down really cheap and our dealership did a second mechanical inspection on it and found that it had some problems. So our used car guy said, you know what? They wanna buy it, but I would rather not sell it to them. And I really respected the way that he went about that. Um, it doesn't always happen, but sometimes it happens that, yeah, a vehicle, we, we check it even closer and it's not perfect. And the great news is, with a car dealership, we don't have to sell it to the public. We make way more money. We make about double the money when we sell it to the public, but we chose with this vehicle to wholesale it, meaning we made less than half on it. We also had to pay like wholesalers fees and we have to pay for special licenses to be allowed to do it this way, but we did it. We sold it as wholesale, paid the tax on it and everything. And that's something you get only at a car dealership, I've learned because we have so many cars um, and because we have our own service department, we can do that. When you buy a car online from an individual, they have that car and they have no other options. Their best option is to get $200 for the car by taking it to a junkyard, by parting it out, or by convincing somebody that they did take care of it when they didn't. So that's something I really love about car dealerships, at least this one, because we are responsible, we keep maintenance records, and we do all the work. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do with these videos, I think, Katie. Just like each time, I'll just talk about something that I saw here that impressed me. I love that. Thank okay. you.